Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about XM Cloud APIs. So XM Cloud API is by far the most extensive and well-described API of the new products, which is available now. And you can just go to Swagger definition and see all these uh, available endpoints. But in this example, I'm just going to take a sample website, which is uh, XM Cloud uh, Play Summit demo. And I'm going to deploy it to XM Cloud only using this XM Cloud APIs. So I'll create project, environment, deployment, all from by using Postman basically. So I have this endpoint here. I have my JWT token. I just need a name and a region and EUS in this case is just East US. And this will create a project in the organization. So I can go here. There is a project it just appeared immediately. I'm just going to refresh to recheck it. It's, it's still there. Yeah, so basically there it is. This is a sample project. I have my project ID. I have the project. And let's see what we can do with this. With this. So you go to the project. It's empty. There's no environments yet. So I will go back to Postman. And there you can see in the response, I also have this project ID, which I can get right from the response. So I will use the project point to create a new environment. And this one just needs a name. So I'm going to create a, let's say, dev environment. I'm going to send it. And let's see what we get. OK, so there is environment. You go here, there is a dev environment. I can copy its ID and I have the same ID in the response as well. So this allows me to go to the environment endpoint and actually create a deployment. So I will click send now. So there it is. I have a deployment, I have its ID. And if I go in the environment, there is a deployment. But as you can see, it's cute, but it's not going to start deploying because there's nothing to deploy. It's not even started, right? We haven't provided any source code or just anything. So what we need to do next is to use a deployment endpoint and add a deployment source to specific deployment with ID. So I copy ID from there to this endpoint. I'm providing a source. And in this case, source is a zip file, each, which I've just downloaded from GitHub by clicking download zip. And this is a great differentiator of also of the Section Cloud API because it makes it easy to use, right? Because some other APIs require you to upload multiple files or some weird formats. This just uses a zip. It's pretty quick, like we send it, it got accepted, and I go to back to XM Cloud and let's see what's gonna happen here. Wait, nothing happened. But this is because we've uploaded this source code, but we haven't actually started deployment. So what we need to do is to use deployments endpoint and click deploy. This will actually start the deployment process and it will start provisioning, building, and I will just slightly speed up the video here, but it takes a couple of minutes to actually provision everything. So there you go, like deploy completed in nine minutes and just some post actions running, but we can already go to XM Cloud and start exploring. So everything's here. I can go to pages. And there it is. Beautiful Play Summit demo. It was deployed simply by calling one, two, three, like four endpoints. And yeah, there you go. You have website deployed and ready to use. What you can also do if you're like running some automated tests and you need to clean up after yourself, you can remove the environment and, and well, multiple environments if there's more and then delete the project. So in this case, I'm removing the environment first and you cannot actually remove the project with environments. You have to remove all the environments first. So I go here, not found. And if I go to the project itself, 
You see it like no more environments, everything got destroyed. And in the same way, I can just copy project ID and delete the project here as well. Or two accepted, so the project doesn't exist anymore. So if we go back to project list, it will not appear there. So basically, that's the simplest example, but it actually shows how simple and the same powerful this XM Cloud API is. You can create and delete projects, and this is more useful for some quality insurance scenarios or when you need to deploy and then also destroy multiple branches or, or multiple versions of your project. It's easy to use, it's pretty quick and if you're limited in the number of projects or environments in your organization, you can quickly deploy something, test it and immediately get rid of it and deploy something else. And this API is pretty extensive. I haven't covered even like 10% of it, but you can be sure that pretty much everything that you can do with Sidecore, using Sidecore XM Cloud deploy app or anything related to XM Cloud, you can also do with uh, APIs. And with XM Cloud specifically, you can do even more with APIs than you can do with the UIs. So that was pretty much it and see you in the next videos.